Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem which is x squared divided by 36 this is equal to 36 over x to the power of 2 so what is the value of x or what are the values of x now let's provide a solution from here we have x to the power of 2 divided by 36 this is equal to 36 over x to the power of 2. So let's cross multiply from here so that we have x to the power of 2 multiplying by x to the power of 2. This is equal to 36 multiplying by 36. So this means that we have x to the power of 2 times x to the power of 2. This is equal to 36, which is 6 to the power of 2 times 6 to the power of 2. Now, this is in the form of a to the power of n multiplied by a to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n plus m. Applying this property, then we have x to the power of 2 plus 2. This is equal to 6 to the power of 2 plus 2. And this implies we have x to the power of 4 this is equal to 6 to the power of 4. So let's take 6 to the power of 4 on the left hand side so that we have x to the power of 4 minus 6 to the power of 4. This is equal to 0. We can express x to the power of 4 as x to the power of 2 raised to the power of 2 minus 6 to the power of 2 raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 0. Now, this equation here is of the form a squared minus b squared which we can express as a plus b multiplied by a minus b applying this property then we have x squared plus 6 squared multiplied by x squared minus 6 squared this is equal to 0 Now here we have got two parts here, you can see. let me call this case 1, case 1 we have x to the power of 2 plus 6 to the power of 2, this is equal to 0, and in case 2 we have that x to the power of 2 minus 6 to the power of 2, this is equal to 0. Let's start with case 1. Now x to the power of 2 plus 6 to the power of 2 this is equal to 0 this equation is of the form a squared plus b squared which we can express as a plus b i multiplied by a minus b times i this is equal to 0 so here we have x plus 6 i multiplied by x subtract 6i this is equal to 0 so from here we have two parts we have x plus 6i this is equal to 0 and we have x minus 6i this is equal to 0 so we have that x1 is equal to minus 6i and we have x2 is equal to 6i so here we have two values of we have x1 and x2 let's proceed to case 2 in case 2 we have x to the power of 2 subtract 6 to the power of 2 this is equal to 0 this equation here is of the form a squared minus b squared which we can express as a plus b multiplying by a minus b this is equal to 0 so here we'll have x plus 6 multiplying by x minus 6 this is equal to 0 so we have x plus 6 this is equal to 0 and we have x minus 6 this is equal to 0 so we have that x 3 this is equal to minus 6 
and we have x4 this is equal to 6. So this means that we have four solutions here. Now this implies that we have four solutions here x1, x2, x3 and x4. Now let's verify that these four solutions here satisfies the equation. Let's start with x1 which is minus 6i. Now if you recall we have that x to the power of 2 divided by 36. This is equal to 36 divided by x to the power of 2. So minus 6i raised to the power of 2 divided by 36. This is equal to 36 divided by minus 6i to the power of 2. Now, here we have minus 6 raised to the power of 2 multiplied by i squared divided by 36. This is equal to 36 divided by minus 6 squared multiplied by i squared. Remember that i squared, this is the same thing as minus 1. Okay, so we have minus 6 squared, this is 36, multiplied by i squared, which is minus 1, divided by 36. This is equal to 36, divided by 36, multiplied by minus 1. So if we simplify here, if we simplify, we have that minus 1 is equal to minus 1. And this means that the left add side is equal to the right add side. So let's take x2 here, which is equal to 6i. Let's take this. So we have 6i raised to the power of 2 divided by 36. This is equal to 36 divided by 6i raised to the power of 2. Now here we have 6 squared, which is 36, times i squared divided by 36. This is equal to 36 divided by 36 times i squared. We have that i squared, this is equal to minus 1. So we have 36 times minus 1 over 36. This is equal to 36 divided by 36 times minus 1. So 36 here simplifies so that we have minus 1 is equal to minus 1. And therefore, the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that x2 here, which is 6i, satisfies the equation. Let's check x3, which is equal to minus 6 from here. So we have minus 6 to the power of 2 divided by 36. This is equal to 36 divided by minus 6 to the power of Two. Minus 6 squared, this is 36 divided by 36. This is equal to 36 divided by 36. Now, if we simplify here, this is the same thing as 1 is equal to 1. So the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. And that affirms that x3, which is minus 6, satisfies the equation. Okay, so let's check x4 which is equal to 6 so in this case we have 6 squared divided by 36 this is equal to 36 over 6 squared so 6 squared this is equal to 36 divided by 36 this is equal to 36 divided by 6 squared, which is 36. Now, if we simplify here, 36 by 36, this is 1. This is equal to, again, 36 by 36, this is 1. So we have that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this affirms that x4 here satisfies the equation. Therefore, the four solutions here satisfies the equation. So can you follow the steps? Like this video, 
and kindly subscribe like this video and kindly subscribe see you in the next video